Welcome everyone. Today we're going to review a Leap Hair Scania uh, crane truck made by Bruder Toys. As you can see on the box, it was made in Germany, so you're getting a really well made quality toy. If I turn the box around, you can see some of the other vehicles Bruder offers. And on this side of the box, you can see some of the features the truck is equipped to do. That is a 116 scale truck uh, made out of high quality ABS plastic. And uh, now let's take it out and see how it looks outside of the box. Looking at the front, you can see how highly detailed this truck is. The lights, grills, vents, even the chrome highlights make it look incredible. On the driver's side, the mirror can be folded in and out, and the door can be opened as well. Looking inside the cabin, you can see the dashboard and some of the details it holds. The door has a latch on it that doesn't allow it to open up very easily. The door on the crane unit itself can be opened and closed by sliding it back and forth. There are four legs on the truck, two on each side, which can be folded out, and if you twist it counterclockwise, you can unlock it as it drops down, and if you keep twisting it, then it touches the ground and it will lock in. To put the leg back into its original position, twist it clockwise until it unlocks in the lower position, then lift it up and do it a few more times until it locks back in, and then you can push it back against the body. There are four sets of tires on each side. Two in the rear and two in the front. The two in the rear are double tires that only resemble double tires, but they're actually one single tire. The mirrors can be folded out on the passenger side as well, and the door opens the same way as the other side does. Before we can raise the crane's arm up, we have to release the hook in the front by releasing the string mechanism in the back. This will allow the hook to come free on the front of the truck. The hook itself is made out of metal, so it has pretty decent weight to it. To raise the arm up, you can use the red knob and turn it clockwise to adjust the crane to its desired position. You can also just use your arm and drag it up if you like. Once you reach your desired position, the crane's arm will lock in and will not be able to be pushed back down. You have to use the knob to adjust it down. To adjust the length of the string, you can use the mechanism in the back that you can twist clockwise and counterclockwise. Now this locking mechanism is there, so the string will not unwind by itself. So you have to lock it and unlock it to use it. Once we have enough length on our string, you can use the second knob to adjust the height to our fully extended position. There's another arm attachment on the side of the crane that allows you to raise the crane up even higher. You have to open the locking mechanism on the top and move the string out of the way. This way we can attach the additional arm on top by locking it into position. Once you have it added on, you just have to feed the string through the top and also you have to lock in the locking mechanism right here so that this will not allow the arm to fall out. And as you can see, it is very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. There's a counterweight on the back of the crane which can be released by releasing the red handles. 
Once you take the counterweight off, you can see that it's hollow inside, and this actually can be filled with some sand or any type of weight, which actually will give extra weight to the back of the truck. The counterweight can be stored on the truck by locking it onto the body itself with these red handles. Once you're ready to use the crane, you can just turn it into position and lock the counterweight onto the body of the crane itself. We can open up the arms on the side of the body now and unlock them like we did before. This will not allow the truck to tilt sideways once the crane is operating. The crane reaches 50 inches at its fully extended position. The truck comes with the lights and sound module which either gives you just a siren without any sound or it can do different sounds by pressing on the button. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you make your decision if you want to purchase this vehicle. And please subscribe and give us thumbs up if you like the video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know.